Hello and welcome back to Pico TV and to the second part of the series which is looking at the wheel's modern range of products. So far I have laid the ballast and the track, weathered and painted the rails, plus I've added static grass and applied a couple of washes to the concrete pad. And Jeff has got to the point in the build where he started to attach the interior images to the backs of the windows in the main DPD building. So let's pick up from where we left off. Jeff starts to bring all the walls together. Using a set square, he joins a front wall section with an appropriate side wall section, making sure he creates a good 90 degree angle. Using some of the waste plastic from these two kits, he takes a small piece of plastic and uses it as an internal bracing and repeats this process on all four corners and leaves it to set. Next he takes a thin piece of plastic card and cuts it into a 2cm wide strip that is just shorter than the height of the walls and then uses that as a joining brace to join the two end walls together. And again he repeats this on the opposite end of the building, making sure the walls are in the correct positions. Next he takes the two spare wall sections which would form the exterior walls from a single kit but because we're combining two kits together they are redundant and therefore make a rigid interior structure wall. He's joined them together and uses them to join the open end of the building like this. Now he needs to bring these two sectional pieces together. One of them has formed a square, the other is open ended. So this can be quite tricky and will require some patience and some care. At this moment in time it's worth stating that these kits can be built in a multitude of different ways. We've taken the SSM322 DPD distribution depot and made it into a rectangular building by joining two of them together making a much bigger building. We could have made it as a single standalone structure as shown here or we could have made it as a low relief which is what I've done with the SSM 300 kit as shown here. However, if you wish to make the kit much deeper, you can use the SSM 315 Industrial Retail Extension Kit to increase the size or even join multiple kits together to make a huge 7,000 square foot unit. This could be very appropriate for something like an Amazon distribution depot. Then, you might find the extra HGV loading bays, the SSM312 detailing pack, very useful. Or for creating a supermarket, all you need to add is the SSM310 supermarket frontage kit. Or even if you wanted to create an out of town retail unit, the SSM311 might be just what you need for your local garden centre. You could even turn these buildings into modern locomotive traction depots. Right, back to the build. Next it's time to start preparing the roof. Jeff removes the gutters from the front edge of the roof sections. Note that the opposite end is slightly beveled and should be positioned at the apex position of the roof. Then one at a time Jeff attaches the roof sections onto the roof making sure they fit snug. Again, this has an added complication due to there being two kits joined together, but with a bit of patience and care a good fit can be achieved. This next bit is something Jeff and I add to our buildings. Roof or metal flashing. Jeff takes a sheet of tissue paper, like the type found in shoe boxes with new shoes, and flattens it out and cuts it into strips about a centimetre wide that will span the length of the roof. Evenly he applies PVA glue along the roof ridge between the joints and positions the tissue paper over the top like this and when it's dry he paints it. Next Jeff adds the gutters and the downpipes then he attaches the security cameras and the lamps to both the front and the rear of the building and to finish off he adds air vents onto the roof and then leaves the building to one side ready for me to attach to the diorama. I start off by installing the SSM323 security gate which 
I fix into position with some super glue. Next, using a pin vise, I drill the holes which line up with my SSM 317 Modern Palisade fencing pillars. At the rear of the diorama, I'm using the SSM 316 version which has gates in the kit. Next, I take the SSM 319 Modern Level Crossing Road Bed Kit and I remove the anti-trespass parts of the kit as I will be using these to form a secure barrier in and around the gated access. Then I add the SSM 300 Industrial Retail Unit and add some freestanding lighting and some extra security cameras. Then I position the DPD building. As with all these extras I will be using super glue very sparingly along the edges and pushing and holding them into place taking care not to bend anything out of shape, making sure all the walls are straight. Then it's just those little extras that bring the whole thing to life. I'm adding a couple of DPD delivery vans and a few pallets, plus a bit of extra shrubbery to finish off the scenics. And there we have it. The Will's modern range of products are incredibly versatile and we hope this diorama build has given you some great ideas for your own layout and shows you what can be achieved with this range of products. So until the next time, stay safe and keep modelling.